Hello everyone and welcome to a rather spooky review from Colour with Claire today. This is the debut colouring book by Alan Robert, member of the heavy metal band Life of Agony. It's called The Beauty of Horror, a gorgeous colouring book and it's all about everything creepy, gothic, scary, spooky, weird and wonderful which is ideal for me because I love all of that. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Start off with a beautiful matte feel dust jacket which folds all the way out and has a completely colourable inside with this sort of wallpaper vampire back pattern and a beautiful black and red inside cover. This is the title page and straight away you can tell the paper is absolutely amazing quality. It's very thick, it has a beautiful ivory colour, it's not bright white, um, it adds to the vintage sort of creepy feel of the book and water-based pens do not bleed in this unless you sort of really you know stay in one place for a long time or go over the same place so yeah brilliant quality paper this is the publishing page and a rather beautiful book belongs to page and this is one as you can see that i've already completed this is the lost items page so within this book you will find these items several times hidden in each of the illustrations and you can just have a little um you know, like a treasure hunt with those things. And then this is the girl who features in the book quite a few times. It's Guliana Belly. Hopefully I've said that right. And I've coloured her in there. And this is another page that I've coloured. I absolutely love this one. I had to colour it immediately. Um, I haven't finished the background yet, as you can see. Uh, I've not really worked out what I'm going to do with that yet. But yeah, love this page. Love the um, bodies hanging in the tree. I've seen so many Halloween colouring books and none of them are really actually scary and this is the first book that I think is, you know, creepy and gross and scary enough to, you know, be classed as a real horror colouring book. So as you can see we've got the chainsaws, we've got the leather face type um, illustration here with the brain and the uh, cleaving, uh, cleaving, cleaver, cleaver knives with blood all over them and yeah it's just really weird and gross. We've got a couple of uh, bride and groom here in their coffins. We've got a rather sinister vampire bat and quite a scary tree. We've got sort of like a siren banshee type of underwater creature here waiting beneath the waves. And here we've got a couple of kind of zombie deadheads with axes and knives and eyeballs and all that lovely stuff and a couple of um, dolls heads broken cracked porcelain doll faces which I'm sure anyone would agree is horribly scary <laughs> um, this is a brilliant page it's a werewolf tearing through a quiet town at night with the full moon emerging between the clouds here we've got a lovely rotting dead bird which is quite artistic and beautiful in its own way um, here, I've not quite worked out what this is yet. I'm thinking it's, oh, hang on, there's a like a werewolfy type. Oh yeah, that's a wolf and something else. I need to have a proper look, really. Some of the pages, you don't immediately get what they are, but then you start colouring them in and it comes to life. So we've got a couple of heads shoved on spikes here with a lovely bird taking his eyeball out. Lovely. What have we got here? We've got... Um, Christmas Day with lots of nice school wrapping paper and you open your gift to find some severed heads. Here we've got what I think is a quite an evil looking fish, like a piranha type thing. There's a trio of them with big shark tooth border and someone's arm feeding the fish. Lovely. Uh, then we've got this big octopus creature coming up from beneath the sea and taking this massive ship down. Here we've got another brilliant double page spread. This is a zombie sort of scene. Someone's lovely garden with the sunflowers and then you've got a couple of rotting zombies in there just for good measure. So we've got a mummy, sort of Tutankhamun mummy with the um, hieroglyph, um, forgotten what they're called, those creatures like jackals are they? Uh, with a nice border. And this obviously is another page that I've completed. This is a girl lying in bed um, with all the monsters coming out of the closet surrounding her. Here we've got everybody's favourite scary thing, clowns of all different 
uh, looks and levels of scariness. We've got a sort of Medusa snaky sort of page here, what you could draw something in the middle of if you wanted. And then a full size Medusa illustration. Here we've got a couple of nice family photos for the album. And a page full of spiders with lots of different patterns. Eyeball soup anyone? <laughs> so we've got a lovely bowl there full of body parts. And we've got a lovely sort of Christmassy wreath that's if on closer inspection full of eyeballs and tentacles with someone's rotting hand in the middle. Here we've got some vampire bats hanging around for the night. And some teeth and arms and all sorts of stuff there in this wallpaper sort of mandala pattern. Here is a brilliant illustration. It's like the inside of a voodoo tent and it's got all sorts of things, potions and weird and wonderful dolls. Another double page spread of the circus with a creepy carousel. We've got a girl tied up on a chair with some masked individuals holding bloody knives. We've got an old plague mask guy surrounded by lots of bones. We've got a boarded up window with uh, zombie hands coming through reaching for you. More undersea evils. And this huge sort of um, snapper plant, forgot what they're called, coming out like the triffid onto this rodent skull. This is like a wall of faces. Can you imagine like someone's covered their wall in human skin or something and faces? I told you it's scary. <laughs> um, so we've got a spider, a big giant spider in his web and he's got some people wrapped up ready for dinner. Now we've got this giant sort of um, mut mutant rat and all these pipes and these baby rats going around. That's quite interesting. We've got a Siamese sort of fetus, skeletal fetus in a jar and a head in a jar. And here we've got an axe with some birds, some crows sitting on it and another zombie girl. Here we've got a girl looking through a frame or into a mirror, looking good. And a close up of a rather scary face. We've got a dog made of bones with vampire holding a vampire bat that is retrieved for Guliana here. Good dog. We've got a skull illustration and a scarecrow in a field. We've got Guliana sat on her swing holding her head next to a scary tree. We've got the family album here, family portraits. Uh, what's this? This is a skull. Oh, I see. It's a skeleton holding some flowers, probably in his coffin. We've got Grandma holding a skeletal demon baby. We've got a couple of underwater creatures again, ready to pull you beneath. We've got some super scary stained glass windows with lots of zombies on the outside. Love this page. This is a seance with all the zombies around it. Guliana, books flying around everywhere. We've got a wolf or dog on top of a grave here. And here we've got Guliana's house with her dog and her herself looking super creepy. And then there's a couple of pages to create your own heads or whatever you want in your glass jars. And then there's the key to all of the treasure. So overall this book is my favourite horror book, if not one of my favourite all time colouring books because I just love the subject matter. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll put the link in the description to buy and see you soon on Colour with Claire.